Good evening, everybody. This is Cameron back here again, and I am here to bring you guys a video blog going over the forecast for Halloween. I'm going to talk to you guys about the cold front uh, that's going to be impacting our area as we get towards the day on Halloween. I'm also going to talk to you guys about how it's looking for the trick-or-treaters, how everything's going to be shaping up as we get towards Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. I'm going to talk to you guys about the potential of severe weather, and I'm also going to talk to you guys about um, Friday night. And then the rest of November, how is November shaping up? So, uh, a decent sized video blog coming your way. Uh, but stay tuned, guys, and I promise you it's gonna be every, it's gonna be worth every minute that you hear. Okay, so let's get started here. First thing you're looking at is gonna be the six to ten day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. You've got above normal out west, above normal out east, and below normal right in the heartland of the country. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out for you guys here. All right, and here's what's going on. You got a heat bridge building across the western half of the United States, which does include um, Alaska, and you also have uh, ridging going on across the eastern half of the United States, the Greenland blocking, and also the little bit of the southeast ridge that remains um, that's impacting Florida. Okay, so with blocking in place, you set yourself up for a trough over the central half of the United States, and that and that brings down the colder, excuse me, cooler air from Canada and from the Arctics down into the United States, okay? If we had a snowpack in place, this would be an Arctic outbreak. But um, due to the fact that we have a lack of a snowpack in place right now, especially across north and central plains, um, the air is going to be modified by the time it gets here. But we still look at temperatures that are going to be below normal uh, for this time of year, guys. So um, we're still going to be below normal. And it's going to be a little better because outside right now, guys, I'm telling you, you're going to kick off the week with your AC on, but you're going in the week with your heaters on. Okay, so um, that's how it's going to be in Arkansas. You start off the week in the 70s and 80s. You end the week with temperatures barely making it to 60 degrees. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and jump on to the NAM model real quick. I'm going to show you guys uh, what's going on. And this is the NAM model's rainfall prediction. The, the NAM is a little faster with the front than the GFS and the ERP model are. Uh, however, you substitute the flooding threat for the severe weather threat, especially across southeast Arkansas. And I want to note something here. I've been looking at the NAM model all day long, all right? And I've been noticing something, especially across southeast Arkansas. One, the front gets honed up in northwest Arkansas, okay? The only reason why the front gets honed up in, northeast, in northwest Arkansas is because of this particular ridge right here, all right? Give me one second to change the color. Alrighty. All right, there we go. Did not mean to do that. Okay. There's what's going on here, guys. So, um, there's that ridge right here, and there's your cold front. Okay, so your cold front is stationed right about here. All right, so cold front's coming in. It's kind of getting honed up in the mountains, and you've got a tongue of instability trying to make it into the state before the front gets here. Okay, so you've got ridging, you've got a cold front coming in, you've got a Canadian high building in behind it, and you've got instability trying to flood its way into southeast Arkansas um, during the day on Wednesday. Okay, so southeast Arkansas in particular, this is what happens, okay? The ridge, it, it, it's going to have a hard time moving on Wednesday, okay? Until this ridge gets out of here, Instability is going to continuously fall in, especially across southeast Arkansas. So um, I've been noticing with the NAM model, it's increased the instability little by little by little by little. Okay, earlier it had 500 to 1,000. Then the next run it had 1,000 to 1,500. Now it has 1,500 to 2,000. Let's keep it right there, okay? Because we don't need this thing going any higher than it already is. Okay, so um, if the NAM model verifies. I wouldn't be past. I wouldn't put past the storm prediction center to put out a marginal or slight risk um, for the southeast and eastern half of Arkansas, given that one, your instability is going to be near 2,000. Two, your your surface temperatures are going to be near 80 degrees with dew points in the 60s to near 70 degrees, and also on top of that, you're going to have moderate shear, moderate mid to low level shear in place, so um, the threat of damaging winds is going to be there, uh, the threat of heavy rainfall is going to be there, um, and the potential maybe an isolated tornado or two, especially across southeast Arkansas, um, 
during the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday, okay? So um, take it out just a little bit further here, and that's the name on it gets the front out of here, um, and that's all she wrote. Front gets out of here. Temperatures fall during the day on Thursday, and we're good to go. And then on Friday, we get a cold core close low to come in to the state, okay? I know that's kind of a tongue twister, but basically this is going to be a low pressure that's going to bring its own 500, 540 thickness line over the state. And if you get moisture in place in it, and I, 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 want to, I want to clarify this before I say anything, okay? We are not looking for a winter storm out of this, okay? This is not going to be a winter storm. This is not going to be even a winter weather event, okay? If you get moisture in place and your surface temperatures match, rainfall will be the primary pre precip mode. I'm going to stress that one more time. Rainfall will be the primary precipitation mode out of anything. Okay, Rainfall will be the primary precipitation mode. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, In far northwest Arkansas and higher elevations, Friday night, I would not put it past to see a report of maybe some snow flurries or maybe some sleep pellets, okay? The only reason why I say that is because aloft above our heads is going to be very cold, okay? It's going to be below freezing cold. So as the precipitation is falling through that, the question is, how warm is your surface temperatures? If your surface temperatures are in the 40s to near 50 degrees, you can forget about it. Okay, Unless you're in the higher elevations, you can forget about it. This is going to be a primary cold rain over the state. And that's if, and I mean if, you get moisture in place. Okay, show you this real quick. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. If you get moisture in place, this is the front. You've got a lot of dry air building into the state. As we get towards late Wednesday and early Thursday, throughout the day on Thursday, you're going to have dry air in place, okay? If you get a moisture return, that may provide just enough to spark off some rain showers, possibly a sleep pellet, possibly a couple of snowflakes here and there. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised, especially across North Arkansas, okay? This is not going to be a widespread event. It's not going to cause any travel issues. No travel concerns. It's not going to be... A milk and bread situation, guys. I would have stressed that enough, but I'm not going to rule it out across far northwest Arkansas late Friday night and into early Saturday, okay? Uh, the front gets out of here, and that's all she wrote with that, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the year real quick in terms of rainfall now. On Wednesday, not only is severe water threat going to be a primary threat, also you're going to have the potential of heavy rainfall, and that's where flooding could be a problem. Uh, especially across the eastern half of Arkansas as we get towards late Wednesday night and uh, early Thursday. And this is the European model's representation of uh, total rainfall uh, between now and Thursday afternoon. It's going for uh, two to four inches of rain across most of Arkansas with higher totals across northeast Arkansas uh, with that, that low pressure that's going to form along the front. And that's actually going to kind of worry me a little bit because here's the deal. When does that low pressure develop? Okay, when, is it, when does it develop? It develops in the afternoon hours. Um, on Wednesday, then you could have the potential of maybe an isolated spin up or two because that's going to add up to the, the shear. Um, if it develops later on, late Thursday, late Wednesday and early Thursday, then I'm not worried about it. Okay, it'd be out of way with the state. But um, if it forms along that front, and the front's in central Arkansas, that puts southeast Arkansas at risk with the potential of damaging winds, heavy rainfall, and ice and uh, an isolated tornado too across southeast Arkansas from I say El Dorado, Camden, um, down across it, Lake Village, uh, mainly all of southeast Arkansas from El Dorado points northeast. That's going to be the, the potential of possibly some severe weather. And I wouldn't be put it past storm, but it shouldn't put a risk area out. Um, if not tonight, probably between tomorrow or Tuesday um, for that area here. If current if current computer models trend towards to what they're thinking is going to trend towards, uh, then they will put a risk area out uh, for the potential of severe weather. Primary threat being damaging winds. Okay, so um, that's that for the cold front. Now I'm gonna show you guys uh, some long range guidance for November. Okay, 
I normally do this in video blogs to kind of spark up some fun and talk to you guys about it because up winter's coming, you know, time changes next weekend. We're fishing again in the holiday spirit. I went to Walmart uh, about an hour or so ago and I saw Christmas stuff up and I was like, okay, um, I got my Santa hat ready, so I'm ready to go, guys. All right, so um, let's talk about November. Uh, let's see how November is going to be. And right now, guys, if you like the cold weather, November is going to be your best month, okay? November is going to be a great month for cold weather. If you like warm weather, like one of my colleagues, then you're going to have to go to Florida. I apologize. So, um, in terms of um, below, below normal pre excuse me, below normal temperatures here in Arkansas, I'm going to go over to uh, 32 days out here. And this is what it has for November, okay? Below normal for the central southern and eastern half of the United States, above normal out west, and this is a typical El Nino modal key setup, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. All right, I'm going to draw it out for you guys real fast, and there's your ridge, all right? There's your subtropical ridge that's going to try to develop, uh, not subtropical ridge, subtropical jet, excuse me, that's going to develop right along the outer fringes of that ridge, and that's where you have to watch out for the potential of maybe some storm systems that could be impacting our area as we get in towards uh, November. And normally, if we're on that northern side, you get that moisture thrown up on top of the cold air that's in place. And if you got a snowpack in place across um, the northern and central plains, then you have a potential snowfall. Okay, uh, With ridge out west, that will send out cold shots, and it could be some pretty decent cold shots as we get towards November. So November's looking to be below normal um, across our area here. Um, and with precipitation being above normal. Now I'm going to show you what the long range European model wants to have for snowfall. Take this with a grain of salt, okay? Take this with a grain of salt. I'm only showing you this for fun just to show you guys what's going on. But take this with a, with a very, very grain of salt, okay? Here we are, 32 hours, no, excuse me, not 32 hours, 32 days out here, okay? And here we are, let me go down to South Central, okay? Has snowfall across North and Central Arkansas, okay? This is 32 days out, this is mid-November. By this time, next month, the European model long range says that we will have snow on the ground, okay? If it happens, it wouldn't surprise me. This is around Thanksgiving. So, it wouldn't surprise me if we got snow on our Thanksgiving. It's not the first time it's happened, okay? Um, I'm stepping out to 46 hours. 46 days, not 46 hours. I don't know why I keep saying hours. Um, jump out to 46 days here, okay? It's 46 days. And it wants to bring more stuff on. Now, the longer you go out, this is one thing I, I, I try to stress about these models. You go past 10 days. You go into uncharted territory, okay? Then you you go into territory that is likely to be very, very, very unaccurate, okay? It's hard enough to get an accurate ten days. You go past ten days, you might as well forget about it, okay? So um, that's the situation with that, and that's just the euro. The GFS on the hand really doesn't have anything, but I want to show you guys the euro. Um, that's the mean. I'm going to show you guys the control real fast, okay? Even more snowfall. That's 46 days from now. Show you guys a little closer to home, 32, 32 days. And it has to be Northern Arkansas. So Northern Arkansas, if you live in Northern Arkansas, uh, next month it looks like most of the favorite view for the potential snowfall. It wouldn't surprise me um, given the time of the year. And this is what we need to get snowfall here in Arkansas. You need a very nice snowpack across the north to central plains to get it. Okay, so that's all she wrote with the weather video. Um, I will catch you guys later, and we will keep you guys updated on the Halloween up the Halloween forecast, and also keep you guys updated on the potential of severe weather. Okay, so you guys take care, and y'all have a great rest of your Sunday evening.